So we're going to learn is CIDR or Classless Interdomain Routing. If you see every machine on the internet has public IP address, right? That's how we can define where the traffic is coming from and where it is going. So when you launch a EC2 instance, you define, you get a public IP and a private IP address. So that's given by uh, the IP address range that we have here. So classless interdomain routing is a method of allocating IP addresses. And this is also used in security group rules uh, and AWS networking in general. So if I show you this uh, here, this is what a CIDR range is. And if I click on create VPC option, it asks me to enter the CIDR range. Okay. okay. So we have to define like what should be the range of IPs that are going to be used in this VPC. So I can define 10.0.0.0. So this is IPv4 address, which where you have four octates. So 10.0.0.0. So four octates. So this is the IP address. And if you put slash and something 24, uh, then you get a range of IPs. So this slash 24 is known as subnet mask called subnetting in networking. So this is what you call CIDR. You have the IP address and then you have something after the slash, which is going to define how much IPs are you going to get. And to understand this, we have a good website created by someone. So if I do cider.xyz, uh, this is the website which will help you understand how much IP ranges are you going to get. So if I do 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So it's going to say that we get 256 IPs in this range. So this slash 24 means we are going to get 256 IP. If I change it to slash 16, I get 65,536 IPs. Okay. So if I show you this, uh, this uh, example here, like in EC2 instances, we have security group, right? Like where we define uh, what is the port going to be allowed to this particular instance. So if I have a security group attached here and it has two, two rules, port 22. So port 80 is HTTP and port 22 is SSH. You, de you can define like where should this traffic coming from. So we have choose anywhere IPv4. That's why it is 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. Okay. When you put 0, 0.0, this means every IP in the internet. So if I do 0, 0.0, like 4 billion something is the count, which is the total number of IP address on the internet now. So every IP address is going to be count in this 0, 0.0. But okay. if I change this to my IP address, just my IP. You can see the change up at like the number what is going to be there after this. So if I do my IP, it says my IP address and slash 32. Okay. So slash 32 means just the single IP. So if I do slash 32 here, uh, something like 10.0.0 slash 32, which means just one IP will have the connection or will have uh, the permission to talk to that instance on port 80 or 22, whatever it is. Okay. Right, so I hope this makes sense like what is CIDR range, how can you allocate IP address. We are going to go more in depth but I hope you got the idea of how you can. Yeah, uh, the okay. CIDR just lets us know how many IP addresses mm -hmm. can access. The... Yeah, so we have seen that slash 32 means, means just one IP like that particular IP address uh, like this and slash 0, 0.0 means every IP on the internet. Uh, CIDR consists of two things, one is the base IP and then the subnet mask. So base IP is, can be anything. So 10.0.0, 192.168, 172.128 can be anything. So if I show you this here, this part 10.0.0, sorry, 10.0.0.100 slash 32, here you have the base IP. And after the slash you have subnet mask. Okay, so subnet mask will define how many IPs can be given. So if I do slash 32, it, you can get one IP. If I do slash 20, you get 4,000 IPs and you can also see the range here. Yeah. So yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. So this is the same thing uh, again in more detailed way. Uh, so the base IP, if you have slash 32, it is two to the power zero, which means nothing is going to be changed. This 31, then you have two to the power one. If you go to 30, it's going to be two to the power two. Then 29, 38, so similarly, you can, if you go down, if you go to slash 16, you get two to the power 16, which is 65,536 IPs that you get two four these are the ips that you are going to be get getting in these cider ranges so slash 30 to one ip okay. slash 31 to 34 8 16 all of that so uh you already know this if i do slash 24 i get 256 ips if i do 16 i get 265536 32 means only one zero means all ips 
going to be this, then dot zero dot zero dot one, and then the last one is going to be this. So when you have uh, thirty two, when you have thirty two, nothing is going to be changed. This is the IP, or this is the same IP that you are going to be used. Okay. Okay. If you have sixteen, you can see these two updates are changing. These yeah. two, last two. If you have twenty four, the last one is only changing. Right. So you have okay. two fifty six IPs, which starts from ten dot zero dot one till ten dot two five four. So when you change the octet, when you change the subnet mask, you can define how many IPs are you going to get. So if I go back to the slide here, it says you Cyber has two two uh, components. One one is a base IP and the second one is a subnet mask. So base IP is what you define, and then the subnet mask is going to tell you how many IPs are you going to get. So when you put slash thirty two, nothing is going to be changed. You have the same one IP. If you use slash twenty four, only the last part is going to be changed. If you use slash sixteen, the last two can be changed, and slash eight means last three can be changed. Okay, and you don't need to remember okay. this. You don't need to remember this in the for the exam or for anything. You will be you will understand this when you do it every day. Like when you practice, uh, you will be able to understand it. So don't okay. try to remember it. So you have like if I do slash eight, you can see these three octets are changing. If I do slash zero, which means everything is going to be changed. Okay. So that's what is cider at the base, uh, and you can always use sites like this cider.xyz, or you can also find other sites. But this is what I use when I 